Recently I bought the Thomas & Friends Diesel Freight Set from Lionel to take my first step into O-Scale. The set itself comes with the Sodor Lines caboose which I've never seen in the show in an Norfolk Quarry Farquhar freight car, but the real reason I bought it was for the diesel locomotive itself. Featuring mostly molded parts and a CGI face, I was surprised to be drawn towards it, but the inclusion of side rods and honestly the beautiful detail it had really made me want to get it. And the next thing I knew I was $160 in the hole with a giant train set. At face value, the set was fun and I really liked the diesel model and the line chief controls and all of its little features, but there was a lot that was left to be desired for me personally. Despite the inclusion of a CGI face, I wanted to give Diesel that Season 2 look, as well as the freight cars and make them look a little bit better, and that's what we're going to get into now, and this is everything you're going to need to do so. For the first wagon I secured the wheels and chassis and tape to protect them while I sprayed them, and then I took some grey spray paint and just sprayed the top of it as much as I could, as well as the sides to give it that real dust grey look to match the load it had. I didn't want to overdo it, but still make it look like the freight car had been used and was in circulation in the railroad itself. For the second portion, I just ended up masking the bottom wheels and tape, as well as the roof of it to make sure I didn't mess up the grey that I had just sprayed. And for the second portion, I just ended up repeating the same step with some brown spray paint to give it a little bit of a rustic, dirt look on the bottom. I ended up doing this again with the bottom of the caboose, but chose to do it just a little bit more lightly. And upon finishing that, just used some black weathering powder on the top of it to bring out the little details and some depth inside of it. I wanted to be as careful as I could with diesel, so I masked up everything I could on the bottom before I sprayed it. I sprayed the brown directly on the bottom so it would look like the dirt on the side had been kicked up while it was running, and then sprayed the corners of the model to make sure that the dirt was spread evenly. And upon finishing this, took some tan weathering powder to his vents and sides to bring out that season 2 look, as well as the top to bring out those little details. And to make sure the powder stayed, as well as to get rid of any glossiness, I sprayed him with some matte clear enamel to make sure he really retained that look I wanted him to have. I sprayed both of the wagons after spraying diesel with matte clear, and just kept looking around the model to make sure I had everything perfect. It was at this point I decided to paint the couplers on the front of diesel as well as the wagon, and then sprayed them again with matte clear. As is always necessary when spraying your engines with such things, you need to make sure they work, so after all of this I decided to give diesel a little bit of a test run, and was astounded to see that he was still working just as fine as he was before. Overall I'm really happy with how everything came out, and especially at the fact that I could have potentially started a new obsession for myself. This was my first go with an O-Scale anything, as well as the first set in O-Scale I've ever received and never had the chance to work on, so I'm excited to see what happens after this and hopefully you guys are too. Fingers crossed at least because I've already spent the money on the new set and it's on its way, so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. For now, here's some pics and clips of the set now that it's completed.